Hey, I'm Scott Reister. Hey, I'm Sc- <laughs> Hey, I'm Scott Reister. Hey. <laughs> hey there. So back in 2016, uh, I had an amazing trip around Iceland. Uh, my wife and I and her parents, we rented a couple of camper vans and we drove all around the, the Ring Road, which goes all around, uh, all around Iceland. And I brought my recording kit with me and did a bunch of field recordings. And then when I got back home, I started using those field recordings and processing them with the modular, uh, sampling them with the Octatrack and put together a live set. And then that live set is uh, what became the album. It's called Route One, which is the official name for the Ring Road. And each song features uh, a recording from a particular place and it's named after that place. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the places we visited, the recordings I captured there and how I processed them with, uh, with my gear and how, yeah, how the songs turned out. So hopefully you find it interesting. It's gonna be kind of part travelogue, part gear talk. Before we get to the songs, I'll run through my recording kit and my live rig. All of the recordings I captured in Iceland were picked up with a Zoom H6 portable recorder. Often I used a Rode NTG3, which is a nice directional shotgun mic. I also brought along a hydrophone and a coil pickup from Jez Riley French, and a pair of Roland binaural earbud microphones. This covered my bases for recording a lot of different things and uh, recording in different situations without taking up a lot of space. I put together the music as a hardware live set where I would play field recordings as samples from my Electron Octatrack and run them through the modular for live processing. All of the drums came from the Analog Rhythm and all of the synths come from the Analog 4 and Novation Nova. The Octatrack syncs everything and sequences the Nova and the audio from everything goes through the Octatrack so I can sample and loop it to create transitions between songs. The first song on the album is Hvergerthi, but this was actually one of our later stops. It's a small town that's largely centered around geothermal activity. They have a geothermal park and bake bread and geothermal ovens. The ARP that kicks off the song actually came from a recording of a geothermal borehole, and that's what you're hearing in the background now. Basically, it's a steam vent from deep underground. I ran this recording through Mutable Instruments rings to convert it into a melodic element. The melody from the ARP came from spinning the 4MS Spectral Multiband Resonator in Volt Per Octave mode, and there's a bunch of delay from Rainmaker and Reverb from Happy Nerding FX8. As it turned out, track 2 was also the second place we camped on our trip. Dinyandi means thunderous, and it's a huge waterfall nestled at the end of a long fjord. The steady roar of a waterfall is perfect as a natural white noise source for processing with my modular. By running that recording through IntelliGel's Quad VCA and Morgasmatron filter, I can then use Stepian Quadrax to create percussive rhythms or noise wells. This was the technique I used on a lot of the songs, partially because I used the same patch on all the songs while doing the live set, but also because it works well on a variety of material. I ended up recording a lot of waterfalls in Iceland, and track 3, Hraunfosser, was the first one we checked out on our trip. This one was interesting because it partially flows underground, then spills out along the side of a cliff, seemingly coming from nowhere. Because it was more spread out and not as tall, the recording from this one is a bit more fizzy sounding. I used a similar technique to Dinyandi to create rhythms and textures from the recording. We saw an amazing sunset over a glacier near Hofen. The next morning, while we had breakfast, I could hear these birds in the marshland below. The recording I captured of the birds was played back through a Cubit Nebula granular sampler with a variation on my usual rhythmic patch. In this case, I also used Tetrapad to play with the pitch and speed of the recording. Sadis Fjöther is a cute, picturesque fjordside town, but it also has this cool sound sculpture called Tvissonger. It's basically a cluster of round concrete domes, but each one was made with a specific size in order to resonate and amplify particular frequencies of the Icelandic musical tradition of five-tone harmony. I thought it would be cool to pick up a few impulse response recordings so I could try to recreate the tone of those domes with convolution software. 
And that's what you're hearing on my voice now. My wife also did some impromptu singing, and that's what I ended up using in the song. The next song features my favorite recording. Fjallsarlan is a glacier lagoon, meaning it's a place where huge chunks of ice float about after breaking off from a glacier. You can hear the ice tinkling and squeaking as the icebergs rubbed up against each other. I used my usual rhythmic processing, but this time with a heavy dose of feedback from Spring Ray. Land Manalaugar is a beautiful remote inland area that features a natural hot spring river and a hardened lava flow. Before we entered the park, we happened to stop near a large electrical tower to let air out of the tires of our super jeep so they would be softer for climbing the sharp rocky roads. While waiting, I thought it would be fun to try out my coil pickup mic to see what kind of electromagnetic interference I could pick up from the big tower. I had the mic dangling from my recorder by the cable, and it was blowing around in the wind, so it made the buzzing tone warble in an interesting way. Sampling that recording into my Octatrack provided the main rhythmic foundation for this song. So that's a quick walkthrough of the songs on the album. Uh, there's a bunch of cool recordings that didn't make it on, like uh, one of the guys who were tank, some bubbling geothermal mud pools, and uh, <laughs> more waterfalls, of course. Uh, so I might do some more Icelandic music down the road, like a, a EP or bonus tracks or something like that. Uh, the next video I do is going to be on my modular by nature uh, approach, where I take my modular out with a portable power pack and process environmental sounds in real time. So if you have any questions about how I use my modular to process field recordings, or if there's anything you want me to demonstrate in that video, uh, please leave a question or comment below. Um, I've also got uh, album art merch, t-shirts and tank tops and little lightweight enamel mugs. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, I've got links in the description and the, the Bandcamp page with the album is in the, uh, the video description as well. Yeah, thanks for watching.